Lots of people ask me, why did you write this book? What was the origin? And the answer is, honestly, the mountain made me do it. Every single day here from my home in Colorado, I look out the window and one peak dominates the entire skyline, Long's Peak. It is 14,259 feet and it has a majestic presence and I've watched it throughout the seasons and different moods and, and dawn and sunset and under the stars. It's a glorious peak. It's really my neighbor right here. And so one day I set to writing a book about the origins of Rocky Mountain National Park. Rocky Mountain National Park is today one of our iconic parks. It has more than three million visitors every year from all around the world. I started to ask myself, why did it become a park? And what was the human story behind it? And in doing my research, I found out the story of an old Scottish homesteader, a wonderful man named Enos Mills. He moved here and ultimately became the most famous mountain guide of the Rocky Mountain region in the late 1800s and early 1900s. And the story of Enos Mills is compelling enough, but the place that he protected, it took him more than 20 years to do it, is still one of the most treasured places on the American landscape, Rocky Mountain National Park.